ফোন করতে পারবে না আশা ইউর মাইক্রো ইউর জুম ইজ মিউট আই গেস ইয়েস ইয়েস মাই एवरीथिंग ইজ মিউট ওকে শিপন ফর দ্য লাস্ট টাইম হলে হলে কেউ জুম অন করবে না জি জি ঠিক আছে বস ঠিক আছে যদি কারো দেখতে হয় হেডফোন দিয়ে দেখবে ওকে প্লিজ এটা বলে ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে স্যার উই আর অলরেডি উই আর হ্যান্ডিং ওভার টু uh the main conference room so they will start any time we are already standing by শুনতে <laughs> 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 Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon. Uh, welcome you all. Today's IPDI live demonstration from Cat Lab Series 2. Uh, we are here at the Ibrahim Kadri Center, Isasin Institute. You know it is the, our pride of Bangladesh. It is the biggest center in Bangladesh. Uh, really grateful to the uh, Bardem and uh, ICRI team uh, allow us, IPDI Foundation, to a program here. Thank you, everybody. Uh, dear participants, you know, uh, we started our I IPDA Catholic Manual Series last two years. We uh, finished our theoretical aspects of Catholic Manual Series. Now we start our live demonstration for Catholic. Our first series in the United Hospital. Today we are here uh, in the ICRI. Our uh, today's special guest, Professor G.M. Farooq, sir. You know everybody. is uh, the uh, one of the senior professor of NICB. Now he is the professor of cardiology. And Professor M. A. Roshid, sir, is the CEO of ICRI. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you, sir, to permit here the program. And Professor Maksum Mulok and Professor Liyakot Ali, also Professor Saidur Roman Khan and Masood Jia Chaudhuri, sir, here. Uh, and our panelists, I, uh, Professor Momonit Jama, I mean Momonit Jaman, is our, one of the renowned international cardiologists, senior consultant in the hospital. And Professor Fazil Tunisa Malik, Professor of Cardiology, chief consultant of uh, National Heart Foundation, also Professor Abzal Rahman, Professor Mirza Maruddin, Director of NICBD, and uh, uh, 
I, I see in the so Fatima Begum also in the in our panel list. I thank you, madam, join with us. I'm requesting now uh, Professor um, M. A. Roshi, sir, is CEO of Ibrahim Cardiac uh, Center Research Institute. Please, kind of few words uh, regarding this program. Professor M. A. Roshi. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mohsin. Uh, it's our it's our pleasure and it's a privilege and uh, we are really, really honored to be uh, hosting this IPDI, the uh, prestigious uh, live demonstration, live cases. So uh, whatever may be the support, we are ready to provide and I hopefully uh, really we're uh, expressing our thankful and gratitude to the IP, IPDI for choosing our center. So really we are feeling honored. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. I wish you all success. Thank you. I'm requesting our chairperson, Professor Abdul Wadhuchuri, sir. Please uh, few opening remarks and start our session. Professor Abdul Wadhuchuri, sir. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to everybody. Today at this prestigious center at Ibrahim uh, Cardiff Hospital and Research Institute, we are going to have live demonstration about radial intervention. Nowadays, for coronary intervention, the entry of choice is radial. Now, we are accustomed to the femoral uh, pathway but many of us are not that familiar with it. But the new generation of cardiologists, they should be more uh, practiced and experienced with this method, this route. Professor Saidur Rahman Khan is a eminent cardiologist who is very renowned for his expertise in CTO intervention. And he's a dedicated radialist. That means radial route is his preferred method of choice of introduction for any coronary inter intervention. Yes. Today, he will be showing us <clears throat> how he does his superb yes. job. I hope he will be showing us step by step how to do this successfully. With this live uh, demonstration, the young stars will be more encouraged and enthusiastic about this radial route of intervention. And they will be gaining some practical knowledge from this lab demonstration. That is our hope. We are really grateful to the authority, to our eminent panelists, to our colleagues and the audience for allowing this to happen. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, here in the chair also, Professor Lea Kotali, sir, Professor Maksimul Hog, and GM Farooq, sir. They will talk our uh, continuous session, I think, one and 90 minutes. They will give some comments. I'm requesting you, Professor M. N. Momonimud Jaman, sir. Uh, do you hear me, sir? Professor M. N. Momonimud Jaman, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mohsin and um, your team, Wadu. Uh, this really is a good way to learn, especially for the young generation, uh, right from the student, uh, also the uh, budding interventionist. This is a really uh, very good approach. I'm really grateful to all of you. What I have not uh, that, that capacity to do it, at least I can support you people to do the same what actually is in, in, in my mind. Uh, the Cat Lab Manual is a, that is a wonderful platform for the uh, new generation interventionists to see the tips and tricks and everything from an expert. Uh, uh, as it is a live program, so anyone can communicate, anyone can uh, interact. Moreover, because of the panel of people, they can also add so here the interaction should be much, much more from those for whom, for whom we are preparing this program, like the 
students, like the new uh, fellows in this intervention. I appreciate all your effort and also congratulate all the participants uh, seeing this program. Hope they will learn. And also myself, I'll learn something from you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Professor Fadilatun Nisra Malik, madam, do you hear me? Can you hear me? Professor Fadilatun Nisra Malik, madam. Please, madam, unmute yourself. Uh, I think I... Uh, uh, madam, J. Yeah. So this is indeed a great occasion for all of us. And we hope to learn a lot, especially our fellows will be greatly benefited from this uh, case. And I congratulate you all for arranging this wonderful session. And thank you for inviting me to, to be a panelist. Thank you. Uh, we move our session. Our also, I see Dr. Samsunar sir here, also Dr. Ashok Dotto, Dr. Professor Amal Kumar Chudi here. Yeah, we are please stay with us and give you available comments. Now I'm requesting you, uh, Professor Sajid Rahman Khan in the cath lab. Already Professor Wadu sir introduced him. He's the senior counselor of cardiology, uh, IDM Cardiac Center Research Institute. He's uh, one of the one of the best uh, radiologist in Bangladesh. Um, before that, uh, Dr. Aisha Kadir, uh, please uh, give some comments on today's objectives, today's learning object. Dr. Aisha Kadir, uh, he's the... Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, hello, Dr. Aisha Gadir, do you yes. hear me? Can you yes, hear me? Sir. Yes, sir, I yes, can hear yes. you. Yes, please you introduce yourself and uh, give. Okay. Yes, sir. Can I confirm that our slides are visible, please? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let me start. It's really an honor and privilege for us to be uh, hosting this live case transmission on radial approach and PCI for IPDI. And the operator today is Professor Saidur Rahman Khan. Our center's radial journey started out as DAB Cardiac Center, a tertiary cardiac care hospital in a small premises of around 100 beds back in 2003. And under the able and visionary leadership of our CEO, Professor Eme Rashid, and meticulous head of the department, Professor Max Mulhak, we have now expanded to a 150 bed hospital and is possibly one of the highest volume radial interventions centers in the country. So far, we have performed close to 0.1 million cases by transradial approach. And currently, the entire spectrum of complex cases are performed transradially by our operators. We do around 6,000 angiograms and around 3,000 PCIs annually in a volume that is not too bad. All these complex cases would not be possible without the unstinted support and cooperation of our entire cath lab team to whom we are grateful. And if we look at the evolution of radial procedures at Ibrahim Cardiac Center over the years, this is our learning curve. The first transradial primary PCI was performed in 2011 and we have gradually increased. And over the last five to six years, we perform procedures of approximately 99.5% via the transradial route. And if we look at the ratio of crossover from radial to femoral while doing PCI, initially angiograms used to be performed radially when we first started in 2010, and the PCI was performed via the femoral route. But as of 2016, it has come down to about two to 3%, and over the last three to four years, this is next to nil. So let's move on to today's case, which will be performed by Professor Saeed Rahman Khan. I'll just give an introduction of the case summary. This is a 72-year-old frail male with a low BMI and a prior ischemic CVD with left-sided hemiparesis. He had risk factors of diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and diabetic neuropathy. And he presented with an acute STEMI around 72 hours prior to presentation with early LVF. Troponin was more than 50 nanograms per ml. ECG was consistent with an anterior STEMI with pathological cues in the anteroceptal leads, and his ejection fraction was a little lower with an EF of 45%. So now, now I'm, I'm taking over the... Uh, Dr. Mohsin, can you hear me now? Please continue. Yeah, yes. yeah now, I'm, now I'm just uh, showing you the uh, angiographic view because uh, already two days back I have done the angiogram once and as the patient has come with a with with ongoing angina post my angina and uh, you know in COVID era the patient was late for for, for for presenting in the ER so this time when he has came 
uh, he has come here, we have done the angiogram, and it seems like you see that though he has come with an ST elevation MI late presentation, but you see that almost seems like a cedulation in a LED. That means so uh, already he has been geoparized, his LED was been has been geoparized before. And after that, the and the LCX is uh, relatively disease free, but you see if you see the RCA, the RCA has a tandem eccentric calcified lesion there in the RCA, and uh, it is also severely diseased. So, but we didn't we didn't plan an ad hoc complete revascularization at that time because this patient is really really even looks like around 80 very frail and very low BMI around 50 kg weight and considering the LED lesion and characteristics and also the comorbidities we went for culprit LED lesion though complete trial and uh, the PRAMI and the prime multi trials uh, are telling that that ad hoc or in, in the, same, the same setting before pre-discharge, you have to complete the revascularization that is better. So we have gone for the culprit elevations to be intervened first, and if hemodynamics permits, then PCI to RCA before discharge, which is today, we will go for it. But before that, what we have done there, that tapered but ambiguous cap with bizarre course of the distal vessel, you can easily can predict from this freeze image here in the LED. And, uh, and uh, hoped for easy crossing, but CT operator like instinct was there and regular workers where was failed and field directly took the role. And after that, with a very smaller balloon support, we have been able to cross the lesion. And then the IVUS, we have done the IVUS also. And if you see that the IVUS is, uh, the vessel was very, very small and narrow caliber around 2.25 to 2.5 distally, and also admixture of severe fibrosis and calcifications are there in the IVUS picture, which is not soothing. So we need a meticulous preparation of the vessel. Extensive balloon dilatation was necessary. When one is to one in civilian was necessary because nothing was crossing before that. And after that, we have taken long 2.30, 2.5, 38 deaths and with, with huge manipulation, treble manipulation, it has been possible. And also the post dilatation was done. And then final post PCI LED picture is like this with the final IVAS, the position was great. So. Here we have finished two days back, and today I am just trying to intervene. The I will check the uh, the angiogram, and after that I will go for to see what what we have done before. Whether anything wrong is there in LED, and also do an angiogram, and we'll go for a PCI. The ejection fraction is forty five percent, so we'll try to go for lower contrast volume so that no volume overload is not there. And most importantly, my whole PCI at that time was with a five French guide catheter because here in our hospital, there is a facility even to measure the radial artery diameter by duplex. And it seems like less than two millimeter diameter. So we have done that lady with a five French gut catheter. Usually I do it, I'm a little bit slender sometimes. And this time I'm doing the angiogram first. So please focus my, the camera here. This is the angiogram, this is the second time I'm puncturing the, the same radial artery. Is the camera is there? Dr. Mohsin, are you seeing the? Can we focus the camera at the puncture site, please? ছাড়া the culprit relation revascularization. Now we have come for this, the I second do, revascularization. I'm, I'm Dr. Maximal Hop. Yep. Because this is for the fellows. Yeah. I think uh, we should start before puncture. How much? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm that's, that's I'm telling. Are I'm you going telling. to go do distal radial snuff box 
or whatever it is. Yeah, that's what I'm telling. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm keeping. I'm keeping all this. Approximately, things. yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, this is here that for radial puncture already the uh, uh, the what do you say the textbook approaches or what actually we are doing in our long practice here that we are taking a, a three cc just uh, and local anesthetic agent and uh, we just uh, and along with it we just use uh, we just use so show the camera here so that i can show please focus the camera can we focus the camera, camera at the puncture focused. site camera is focused i am not seeing at that the puncture site camera should be puncture site yes in the puncture site onar bahar ta jekhane oikhane or one of the panelists, Dr. Asad Khandu Asad Jawan here. And thank you, Asad Jawan. He is the one, one of the uh, real, yeah. real uh, favorite. Yeah, he is also a, he is a passionate, uh, passionate radialist, yes. I know. Yes, Asad, <laughs> Asad, very Asad like, please very uh, keep coming from. Thank you, Asad, coming here. Who is uh, not allowing us? Move, move. OK. You have to do it. You have to do it. Can you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they are fixing the camera to the hand because the, the pressure of the body is obstructing the camera to show it in the local place. Mm -hmm. So whatever we are doing is the local anesthetic as we, we take. And uh, I'm seeing Dr. Ashok also here. He's also a very uh, good radialist and love radial approach also. Thank you. And uh, we take usually three cc gylocaine and local anesthetic agent. And nowadays I usually take also a little bit of uh, like 50 microgram of, uh, of GTN along with it to, because, uh, because some of the trials of Pancholi is telling that, yeah, a bit uh, of nitroglycerin helps uh, to dilate the local vessels also and the radial artery a bit. So this is, uh, we usually take and we take a three cc syringe. You can see that one. And this is within this three cc syringe, we are taking the needle for the three cc syringe from the three cc syringe. From the one cc syringe, we take the needle so that it doesn't uh, make uh, painful even while uh, we are trying to just lessening the pain of the of the patients, of the patients' feelings. Also, we want to lessen it. So that's why we are taking that one. And we usually puncture it. And while puncturing, we usually palpate the radial artery well, very well. Uh, I think by this time, the camera will be focused. And you see that here in radial approach, which is very much important, it's a mind game. Because uh, like one decade back, when just uh, we have started this journey, and then at that time, we used to say the patient when we, we could puncture, because it was like the adrenaline surge was there, whether we can puncture it or not. If it is not, then we are done. We have to go for femoral. So, you know, at that time, when we used to puncture, we can finish the puncture. We used to smile in such a way that we used to tell the patient 50% job is finished like this. So nowadays, this is not like this. You can puncture by somehow, or by any way, you can puncture it. So after doing puncture again and again, again and again, then puncture is not the most important thing because that is not the issue for treating the patient. The treating the patient means the mother of all puncture is the femoral, not the radial or any other access. It, it doesn't matter. Just you have to treat the interview, you have to treat the patient. That is the most important thing. So, so focusing much more towards puncture means you will be much more hesitant and you, 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 may, you, may, you may face some trouble. So it's better to relax yourself and try to puncture according to the, the palpable radial artery what you are feeling that one. So you can easily puncture it. So if you can puncture a smaller vein, so why you can't puncture a radial artery, which is so, so vibrant. So easily you can puncture it. So oh, where- you, uh, you know, focus uh, the camera uh, uh, focus uh, the camera uh, is built before, in. Before focus. Yeah. Yes. Dr. Ashok, yeah. Would you like Dr. to Ashok? Dr. Ashok, do you hear me? Dr. Ashok, should you watch in? Uh, Asad, unmute yourself. Amader, 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 can it do? Because Amader, from Bangladesh, Bharat Premier Paul, that's it. No, no, now it is available now. Mohsin, now it is available. Ah, yeah. Again, it is available. But actually, this case is not there. Only because we have a lot of people who are not able to get it. But we are not able to get it. Asad, can you comment on this? Because we are not able to get it. 
Thank you. Now regarding verapamil, that is a, yeah. a definitely important uh, agent to prevent vasodilatation for a long period because nitroglycerin that we used to give usually work for few seconds or few minutes, but the procedure sometimes takes longer time. So if you don't give verapamil, there is chance of vasospasm. But in expert hand, with all new devices, means catheter and sheath, vasospasm with skilled hand is less likely. And other thing is important regarding how much anesthesia you will give. Initially, what I used to do after good palpation, meticulous palpation, I used to give 0.5 ml lignocaine locally. Then I do the puncture, introduce the short oil, and before introducing the sheath, radial sheath, I used to give another on ml of local anesthesia. Because if you give on or two millimeter, two ml of local anesthesia initially, that will produce local soiling and pulse will be less palpable and difficult to puncture. So initial local anesthesia should be minimum, as minimum as possible. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Ashok is uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, his practice, oh, no. but my practice is something is like that. Give the local anesthetics uh, as much. I usually don't give, I take the three CC, but I don't give three CC. Just give uh, 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 as it is uh, a bit of swelling will be there, but if you press it, then it will spread there. So you don't need to think of that swelling or uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, what what you can say that the, the pulsation will be less or something. It is not going to happen. The thing most important is here that that while puncturing, first thing is why do you will puncture it? And you see that the, for this patient, there is a crease, the flexor crease is there. So never ever over the flexor crease or just distal to the flexor crease, you shouldn't puncture it because that is very much painful and that is cumbersome and that is that causes much more radiology occlusions or sometimes very much difficult to take the sheets. So it's better not to go with the crease, beyond the crease, it, 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 it has been told according to the test book, two to three centimeters, that means two fingers, not two fingers, one and a half fingers even. It depends on the structure of the patient's that is for how it, whether it is he's short or he is long. And then in that case, you can see that beyond the crease proximally, we usually, we usually just try to palpate the radial artery where it is there, the first thing. The second thing is that when you are feeling the radial artery, like in femoral, like in femoral, what you are doing, you are capturing the femoral artery, right? A little bit with the fingers like this, where it is now. Can yeah. you see? Yes, yeah. No. I yeah. cannot like, see. Like, yeah, now you can see. So we, we are no. doing these things. Can you see now? No, we cannot see. It's moving. Dr. Saidur. Yeah. Please see clearly. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can see. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is there. Can you see? Yes, yes, sure. Nicely. OK, so, so no, no, like this. From here. We you cannot, cannot see. see from You are not seeing? I'm not oh, going to make it. We cannot see anything. We are, we are seeing the black screen here. So, yeah, this is uh, then I have to be a computer engineer alongside the <laughs> radialist also <laughs> so, to fix it. So, whatever it is, so. You are just fixing the radial artery, like, like, like in. Jumeba, Jume, Kalo de Halache, Jume, Dom, Black de Halache, and do Amra Dictiva Chica, Namra Dok, Dixiate. Yeah. Okay. Jume, Kalo de Halache. I am also Jum, but I cannot see it. Oh. Please, uh, please. Extremely sorry Don't for that. One. So, whatever it is, I'm, I'm finishing this, this part very small, then, then you can see everything well. <laughs> okay. Okay, proceed. Okay. Please. So then, then usually for radial artery, what you see that I am That's pushing the said. radial artery a bit medially, feeling the pulse, not capturing the radial artery like this, rather than I like to feel that to keep the radial artery free towards the medial side and keeping these two fingers, these two fingers there, not the three fingers, it's not a femoral, so it's radial. So two finger is okay. And the most important thing, I'm giving the local 
just adjacent to the radial artery. Even also with your eagle's eye, you will have to see whether there is any smaller veins also or not, because these are very much important because sometimes you will see the veins are getting dilated and you will feel sometimes that, yeah, some of the locals has been introduced whether in the radial or not. So that one should be kept in mind. That is Excuse better me. because these are, you know, the smaller things, but sometimes it will irritate you. Before you puncture, let us so ask them. After you that, pin, pin the after correct that, zone? I have, I, have, I, have, I have felt the radial artery already there. And then you see this one. I uh, am keeping uh, a, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am keeping this ring finger of mine, right? All the punctures, I'm telling the fellows, please try to follow this thing, that all the puncture, whether it is femoral, whether it is radial, whatever it is, you should have a support of your hand as if you are feeling that your hand is on the soil, like, like the Socrates philosophy. That means in the hand means in the soil. So you should have the ring finger. You will just face, you will make a support of this, needle and what i have taken this needle is a metonic needle i'm taking but like uh, somebody likes the venflon to take somebody likes this metallic needle because as i was a femoralist before i love metallic needles rather than the venflon because the same way the puncture only that it is a miniaturization of the metallic needle okay so this needle the beveled margin should be up okay this is the main thing. So you are fixing the radial artery, pushing a bit medially, and then filling it properly. Be sure that you have felt it properly. And then the well margin is up and keeping your ring finger over the patient's palm in lightly so that you have a support. Otherwise, you know that your hand will be trembled like this. Then you will go for a puncture a smaller puncture, somebody goes for back to back, somebody goes for back and through, anterior posterior puncture or anterior puncture. So you see, now the blood is coming properly. And whether, because it's a second time puncture, so I'm not pretty sure. You see, now the blood is pouring through the 21G metallic needle. Okay, I am taking the baby wear. This baby wear is from Cordis. And there is one baby wear, which is along with the Terimoshit, it is coming, which one doesn't allow this 21 G needle to cross because that one is 025. And this wear is 021. So this needle is, is permitting only the O21 baby wear. And other thing is that the Terumo baby wears has got a bit hydrophilic property, which I don't like. And uh, rather to be, it was rather to be a better hydrophobic and not a J-tipped wear. So I don't like the J-tipped wear to take here. Right. So this is one thing. And now I'm taking the sheet. This is a terumo sheet, six French, and this terumo sheet I am taking. I am not cutting. It is, depends whether you will cut a small cut in the wear, where the where the puncture is done or not. That depends on the texture of the patient's skin, that how hard it is. When you are puncturing, you will feel you can feel that that your needle is you have to push harder. Means the skin is very very thick. So in that case, it's better to cut a little bit before introducing the sheath. But if you feel like in females or like a very thin skinny person, then you don't need to cut it to make any scratch mark there. And how you can push the sheath, I'm pushing in that way that if you don't cut it, then you will just rotate clock anti-clockwise and push it slowly. The, the, you know, you have a dilator in the sheet. That dilator part will go easily because that is hard one. When the real sheet is coming and that one, you have to be very, very careful because the terimo sheets are very soft. So that part should go without any kinking there because that one will injure the radial artery a little bit. 
So it should be very smooth and handle it very, very smoothly and lightly so that the patient may not feel that much pain while introducing the sheath. Then I am, I know that the puncture has been done and I have felt that the blood is also coming out through the introducer needle, through the introducer sheath. And that's why I'm pulling out everything. So from this part, and after that, as this patient, I will do an angiogram, but at the same time, I know that I have to go for a PCI for this patient. So I will take the, what you will take, the, the cocktail. The, what is the cocktail here? The Verapamil 2.5 we are giving, and alongside also take 50 microgram nitroglycerin also a little bit. It depends also on the patient's hemodynamics. Sometimes you may not need for nitroglycerin along with the Verapamil, or sometimes, and also obviously the most important one is the coagulative agent, the anticoagulant. So what anti we are giving the unfractionated heparin here, and it is, it has been told by Artemis trial or different trials are now the telling, but it, is, it depends on the 75 to 100 for PCI and 50 per kg international unit for the angiogram, it's, it's enough. But sometimes, you know, that the patient's is obese, weight is high, a bit, you know, that it's like giving the rice, that measuring one kilo, then you're giving a little bit more or a fish a little bit. So one five this way or that way is not a big issue. So I'm giving that one while introduce giving the verapamil along with heparin, it is a bit painful. This cocktail is a bit painful when it's going to the circulation, especially in the radial artery. Some patients will scream. So it's better to be a little bit mix it with blood like this, and then, then you flush it again. So this part of the initial puncture and the, which is according to the newer, new generation going to be a radialist, for them, this is, I know this is the most important part or the most, you know, that the irritating part or what you can say that the so sensitive part, because if it is not punctured well, then everything is not, nothing is possible. So that is the, this part up to this part, I have finished now. So any questions or any comments from here or to add anything? We have nicely part from the puncture. Uh, and Thank you, Dr. Kalikujaman. Dr. Kalikujaman, right. yeah. yeah. And nicely demonstrated for the young fellows. My question to you that uh, a few days ago, you have done an intervention for this CTO LED. Uh -huh. Did this radial intervention uh, change your decision or any level of the puncture in the radial artery? Have you uh, changed any decision? Either you do the same side or a bit upper level. Oh, the two days back, I have done the done the puncture, right? So if you see that here, you know that this sort of cases when it is very much spatial, like the hemodynamics is not, it's not that much good. Patient is very frail, or these sort of things. Sometimes, sometimes, but in once in a blue moon, I usually check it by a duplex. Like for this case, I have done a duplex to see that whether there is there any radial artery occlusion is there or something. If if the facility is there, so it's better because Rouse Rouse trial is a trial. It's a it's a, it's a trial which they are just trying to say that if it's an ultrasonic guide, if you make an ultrasonic guide, the future radial occlusion or the success of the, of the puncture is good. And for these patients, if as the radial artery is very much palpable, if you don't have the ultrasonic guide, nothing, you don't need it, need it. So you can feel that you can puncture it well. Whether they're in the same point from the same point where there is a mark, or beyond the point that means a bit proximal to that point, it's immaterial, it's not that much important. So because by these two days or seven days or 14 days, whatever it is, a little bit fibrosis will be there in the puncture site and in the, through the, the part of the subcutaneous tissue through which the sheath has been gone there. So that uh, fibrosis I mean, is not a big deal for you. It's not a big deal. The patient has got LB dysfunction. And, yeah. Uh, do you think the verapamil is a good choice? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a very yeah. it's a, it's a very small amount of verapamil, which when it is going, it's not. If the patient is severely bradycardic, 
like uh, like our head of the department likes less the vera pamil usually he doesn't like that much uh, for me it's like that i don't like spasm i hate spasm of the radial uh, artery vera pamil is really it, yeah some bodies wants to make small amount of local anesthetics in the cocktail do you prefer that intraarterial intraarterial in the cocktail vera pamil no I no, no 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 and no, somebody no. wants to mix no, i have never i have never heard of it and it is not in the book and it's not in the textbook also you can give some nitroglycerin a little bit 50 microgram or 100 microgram you can Look, give that not the low what, what, what kind I think, of uh, i i have never heard of it thank you thank you sagar bhai amar mane radial ta khub banche ta most important part of intervention yeah amra ekhane ekta beshi shomoy nebo আমরা এটা টিক্সটা কারণ ইয়াং রা কিন্তু রেডিয়াল পাংচার করতে কিন্তু তারা ইয়া 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 এই সমস্যা হচ্ছে ফলে আমি এনি আস্ক এনি কোশ্চেনস টু আস ডক্টর মাউসিন জাস্ট আই লাইক টু ফর দা জি হাউ টু কিপ দা হ্যান্ড मींस হ্যান্ড রেস্ট হাউ টু প্রিপেয়ার দা হ্যান্ড দ্যাট ইজ অলসো ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট ইয়া ইয়া ইউ নো দ্যাট দা ক্যামেরা ইউ নো দ্যাট দা ক্যামেরা ক্যামেরা শুড বি ইন দ্যাট কেস ইউ নো দ্যাট ওয়ান সেশন শুড বি অনলি উইথ দিস থিংস দ্যাট হাউ ইউ আর ইউ আর প্রিপেয়ারিং দিস থিংস ইয়া বাট দ্য থিং ইজ দ্যাট হিয়ার ইউ ক্যান সি ফ্রম হিয়ার হাউ ইউ আর পুশিং দ্যাট ফ্রম লাইট ইউ সি নো নো শো মি শো মি ইন দ্য লাইট so you see that the most important thing is that whether it is uh, will be 45 degree whether it will be can you see can you can you see now camera to close yeah yeah i'm showing this thing yeah can you see now camera can you pin my camera this is no 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 can you pin my camera please camera can you focus it yes okay now it is focused now it is okay it is focused okay, yeah okay, okay thank you okay you see you. that yes. there is a hyper extended how much hyper extension you can do that is the best thing because you know that that will give the that will take the fish come out it's like the the the, the into the because it the arteries will try to be hidden so you have to make it out so but how much hyper, there is a there is a there is a special band like thing here beneath the wrist we have made it manually we have made it it's a local local product we have made it by uh, by taking a small elastoplast uh, small wooden thing and along with the uh, the cotton bears or something like this uh, and wrapping it up and they make it fixed so you can make a small uh, what you can say soap like big soap like structure you can make it and you can put it beneath the okay, wrist 500 cc saline bag yeah but i i, I think the saline bag is sufficient we are we used to put a 500 uh, yeah that's also yeah, okay but saline bag yeah yeah that's also okay but at the same time if you give that thank, one thank you sir thank because you know the saline bag is one important aspect is to fix the yeah. hand yeah because uh, sometimes patient moves the hand and when see your catheter is inside the coronary artery and the patient lifts it and it will be very difficult so fixing the hand it is not shown we fix it with with uh, with a wooden uh, with yeah, a, we, with dynaplast and a wooden back support we have a special we have a special professor professor ekim reja professor ekim reja sunchen sunchen ji 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 shudhu bolen sir alpo comment sir je apni ki hobe sir ekটু tips mane koi add korte chan ki na sir Acha, just, just, just I want to uh, make uh, from very beginning that uh, after pre preparing the wrist area, that radial area, I usually introduce uh, a 0.5, uh, 5, uh, 0.5 uh, cc uh, uh, lignocaine subcutaneously, and another uh, 0.5 cc uh, beneath the artery. That's why uh, it elevates the artery a bit. in the in the uh, towards the skin that makes my uh, palpation more easy and uh, uh, this is this is my technique i don't know uh, uh, anyone uh, is practicing it or not uh, it it helps me a bit uh, uh, better to palpate the artery after giving the local anesthesia and uh, for puncturing actually we Uh, use a five uh, as as uh, Dr. Wally mentioned that five uh, hundred cc saline bag beneath the uh, wrist, wrist and yeah. yes uh, wrist. You see, then, can I, uh, Dr. Reja, we have yes. this this sort of preparations. Can you see it in the 
in yes. the you, know? see, you see, yeah, yes. this this sort of big soap like things. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are these are these are. You I, know, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> this is, is, this will okay. help you. This is this is very stable thing, rather than Thank more you. rather than a five hundred cc because that one you know is sloppy, floppy a little bit. For the for the fellow, my muscular surgery, I told you, normal cell and biomass, it is normal cell. I don't know. I don't know. We we yeah. never face any problem to fix the risk yeah, yeah, in yeah. during during sure. puncture with a five hundred cc. Uh, no, 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 saline, problem, no problem. Before we have that one only. Yeah. And another another tips we can use that uh, using the nitrates is enough to uh, elevate the uh, uh, spasm. But if patient feels spasm or uh, pain during cannulation or uh, something during the uh, introduce, introduction of sheath, then we can use lignocaine to CC intravascular. There is interarterial. It oh. may help that it may uh, give a local anesthetic effect and it may prevent further future uh, spasm during the procedure. A, Dr. Reza, yes. that's a new thing for me, but do you have any? No, no, no. This is, this is, this is, not a, this is, this is not a new thing. It advised no, do by. A, do you have a literature? It, literature? It, it, no, no. It, this is advised by Sky. Okay. Yeah, sky, sky. Yes, yes. Fellow okay. scores, the sky. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. advise to do okay. use two okay. cc of lignocaine without uh, 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 interval. Can I, can I and, I, and I uh, previously uh, uh, sometimes I use it and uh, I uh, uh, feel better. Uh, there is no pain, no spasm, nothing is there. But yeah, I, it, yeah. I, I, I am yeah, not yeah. using regularly. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. You know Thank the you. profit and profit. Professor, too, these Professor two Amal Kumar Chaudhary. Professor Amal Kumar Chaudhary. Uh, Doctor Sadhu. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, please. Uh, uh, I have one question. This consult technique you you prefer technique? Selvinja or modified Selvinja? Or uh, uh, one question? Another you whether you use. No, no, not the not the anterior posterior. Only anterior are usually punctured, but uh, you don't know that whether it is going to the anterior posterior or not. So that is modified ginger, modified ginger. Yep, yep. Sorry, Doctor Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, Venflon, you can use that one also. Yeah, Doctor Shamsmanor. Yes. 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 I yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're the mm. you're the one of the pioneer idealists in Bangladesh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> yes. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. So you have any comment, Dr. Shams? No. 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 I think it's quite okay actually. Yep. Well, <laughs> only thing I can I can add actually what I do. Yeah. I routinely give some sedation before starting the procedure. Yeah, yeah, that one I, I I've forgotten. I have I have, I have I have forgotten that one already. It has been done already. Okay. So he, he has been sedated by fentanyl. Give uh, sedation. Uh, one thing. Which okay. which agent do you give the sedation? Which fentanyl, medication? Yeah, in our fentanyl. Fentanyl, yes. We, we are giving midazolam. Twenty-five yeah. to fifty. Yeah. We are hey, giving last midazolam. Last please. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wifey Dai, for inviting me as a faculty of the sessions. Actually, I have seen a lot of uh, debates about the uh, use of spasmolytics uh, uh, techniques of punctures, the use of wires, and uh, so on, so on. Uh, so I, I think that this should be uh, very uh, simply if I can uh, address this issue uh, because there is a, a new fellows are here. Uh, main attractions uh, of this program is to learn the uh, techniques to the uh, and to uh, show these techniques to the fellows. So, uh, so I think uh, this should be the uh, meticulously uh, ac uh, according to the guideline, according to the textbook, according to the reference books. So uh, first of all, uh, if I uh, look uh, back to the uh, puncture system, puncture, just punctures needle, there are three te techniques of use of, of needles. One is the metallic needle that is Dr. Saidur Rahman already used. And another is the Veniplon, very commonly used, very cheap, only 20 taka. And another is the Jelko needle. Jelko needle is preferred, it's costly. And uh, uh, so far I feel we, when I use the Jelko needle and if I pull back it's very gently, okay. then there is a chance of thrombus. So I leave it. Uh, and another issue is the metallic needle. It's very uh, difficult for the beginners as because if you punctured the vessel by metallic needle, there is a flow just like a drop by drop. So you can misinterpret or you can misunderstand. So I, I also leave this for, uh, avoid this for this fellow and preferably cost effective is the van flown. 18G or 20G van flown is very safe. And next issue is the local anesthetic agents. 
I prefer the use of syringes the, that is the diabetic needles. So why is we have used as diabetic syringes is a very simple. When I show this needle or syringe to the patients, they get confound. That is not harm the patient, not, uh, not, it's not, less, it is very much Eta. less painless, uh, 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 painless condition. So, and I use yeah. usually 0.5 to 1 ml of lignocaine. It's more than enough. And so, but very important issues, don't puncture the artery just after injecting the needles, uh, log, uh, lignocaines, just you give some uh, few couple of minutes and you disperse this uh, by using the uh, finger or by some other gauzes to, uh, to disperse this uh, local anesthetic agents, then it will uh, easily avoid the local swelling and it, it will help the patients to get comfort during a puncture. So second. And third one is, is uh, the wear, uh, when you, metal, you use the puncture needle, just metallic needle, then you need to wear, use the, the metallic wire. It's, it's sometimes for the beginners, it may injure, uh, may, may injure the local vessels and it leads to the uh, radial artery perforations. It's another <laughs> issue. And third one is the uh, spasmolytics. It's a very good issue. Uh, actually, there is no consensus that is which one is better than the which one. But some, if you look back the uh, some randomized trial, you can see most of the centers, they prefer the Verapamil. This is a very good verapamil. You can use 2.5 milligram to five or five milligram verapamil. Single injection is more than enough. Uh, and uh, and sometimes if you, you, I, I usually prefer uh, the mild sedatives. Uh, uh, I say the ooh ho, ah, ah, ah sign. If you just uh, give the local and see if patients say ooh ah, ah, that is it indicates the threshold of pain is very low in these cases. In that cases, I prefer the use of mild sedatives, particularly when the heart rate is normal, then I give, use 20 or 30 milligram, that is pathogen. And if heart rate is very high, if patient is uh, ongoing chest pain and its rate is very high, or the patient is impending failure, in that case, I prefer the morphine, there's two to three milligram morphine. Otherwise, sometimes we use that lignoc, uh, that is the fentanyl, or sometimes we use the midazolam, it's a, it's, it's a debatable issue. And uh, I think so, everything is covered here. Thank you very much. Yeah, Asad, Asad, you have you yeah, have yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just uh, want to add one thing. Okay. 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 Into flow at the Ergungin do hoy. In that case, we yakora dorkane, nervous or dorkane. It changed the angle of the needle, edicted the core, action with the can gelo. Tau gelona. Don't bring out the needle. You go and through and through. Mane anteriorly puncture corresponding or posteriorly cholagan. I'm a jet of courier, your needle. Then slowly withdraw the needle. In the first sign of withdrawal, withdrawal as a blood tache, then introduce the wire. Then it most of the cases it goes. When the patient starts uh, uh, during local anesthesia, in my experience, at least 50% of the cases coronary will come out as normal. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very <laughs> good observation. Actually, age is very important. The maximum by practical jinista ball in Sarge the bullet. Yamar blood astronomy to better that's in a hyper kitchen. Ami just ankle to change school and little ankle to change school of water jabby. Tauju di Nada and through and through a body to withdraw code, water between ye, Berkwe John Blood as with the Hon delivery into couch hobby. But Jetta Sidur Bolchillo, J hydrophilic wire is put on a shumhoke, metallic needle in Motor, you could take a little do it to put a shumai. With the bite the hydrophilic coating at the Shereki to the Tapari. A Junisha Boltillo, Zeta, metallic wear is Korauti. It takes Shabai to Monarak to Hobby. Pentrone Shomoshanai, in the metal Nilikin Te Shomoshatat. Thank you. 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 Withdraw the needle, corrupt for it, which I got a hematoma hojate. 
সেই জন্য এখানে বেশ কিছুক্ষণ ধৈর্য সহকারে একটু প্রেস করে রাখতে হবে এক্সাক্টলি রাখার পরে যদি সুইলিং নাই সেই অবস্থায় সেকেন্ড আবার অ্যাটেম্প নেন সুইলিং অবস্থায় করতে গেলে কিন্তু ভালো হবে না Thank you, sir. Dr. Saiduro Paul Saiduroman. Now, yeah. quote for you at the ball. Yeah. You, yeah. You that, I think, I think so, everybody so, has discussed in a, day, in, in, in a very elaborate way. And Asad, yeah, with your pink shirt, you, you, have, you, have, you have told very well about uh, the, uh, the steps. As Asad liked pink shirt. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. The experience is for you. I'm going to talk to you. Yes. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. অনেক দেরি লাগবে এবং Uh, that would be guided by fluoroscopy is better yeah, to can, see you can feel it by your hand also no no it's a fluoroscopy well, bhai, uh, sajid, sajid bhai, please continue yeah yep. so continue. so i think already there uh, already i think the fellows has been uh, the fellows head has been spinned well yes all these sort of recommendations different types <laughs> of recommendations i think the fellows should read because now it is lots of trials that they are even for the cocktails which we'll use like a big true big trials profit and profit two <laughs> and these sort of tells you can read so though it's still now the universal cocktail universal puncture sites it's, it's not it cannot be universal because patient to patient it will be different but some of the cocktails this cocktail especially the anticoagulation and antispasmodic this is very much important and which you will give your mentor can just make it clear but always you please follow all the trials also on going there especially some of the people in international especially like pancholi and other people they are with this radial artery so lots of trials are happening also is coming out so now i'm going for the angiogram okay so mosin yeah can i go for angiogram uh, before you uh, be, uh, you passing the wire yeah Then yeah i'm first, i'm going for a, i'm going yes. for angiogram yeah, yeah yes yes okay okay so i am taking usually i take we, we usually do the angiogram with a tiger catheter which is a you know that is uh, very much well known and is uh, it's, it's it's like you know you know the name is so familiar but today also as uh, i sometimes i use the dexterity catheter so this is one is the dexterity one i have taken this time as it, it doesn't matter to me that which one you will use whether thick you see that this is a o25 o25 hydrophilic thermoware you see flow loop that one so if you see flow loop dr dr saidur Uh, I think uh, for fellows. Yeah, that's why I'm. I'm uh, no, 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 no. For okay. fellows, you have to mention around the elbow uh, joints. Uh, the, during passing the wire, uh -huh. you have to be very meticulous, very slow, very gentle yeah. to pass the this area. Yeah. Because yeah. because uh, this is the most notorious area where yeah, there may be one. a loop. there may be a arterial loop yeah. there may be a uh, some yeah that is very much here. yeah yes. that is that is well said but the, the the thing is that the wire is not in your control your stuff nurse is or your you know scrub nurse is taking the wire right so whenever he or she will feel that wire is not crossing yes be, uh, below the elbow that wire is not crossing and even under fluoroscopy 
is every from the very beginning your O25 hydrophilic wire should be under fluoroscopy when it is coming out from the sheath. That is must for the beginner. Okay, no way that without under fluoroscopy it will cross a little bit. No, don't let the scrub nurse to push the wire without fluoroscopy. So that is the most important thing. So you can feel that whether there is any problem in the radiolatory, especially with the loops, or you are going to a rudimentary radiolatory, or in a different track, or in a side branch, or it has been carved in such a way that a small branch of the radiolatory has been perforated already. So lots of things may happen. Later on, you'll see some swelling. So this, I know this, uh, this patient's, uh, you know, that anatomic radial artery before, to say it's pretty known to me, two days back, I already have seen. So I have gone in this way, okay? So this has already now has uh, crossed the radial part and has gone to the brachial one, okay? It's going, you see that it's not going there. It, it has gone there, but he has pulled it up like this. So, so very meticulously, very slowly, you'll tell the scrub to pull the, and push and pull the wear. It's better if it is carved a little bit, then it's good. Then you are safe. That wire is not going to perforate anything or dissect anything. So this way, fluoro, fluoro in the catheter, fluoro in the catheter. So I'm taking the catheter. You see, because it's an old age patient. So sometimes you will see some sort of, you see some calcifications in the epic knuckle, but there, huge calcifications are there. So for these sort of cases, a bit slowly, you can put the radial catheter, not like the femoral approach for this sort of cases initially from the beginning. Okay, so it is now in the, in the arch and in the aorta, in the near the root. So now I'm rotating it a little bit. You will rotate it. Somebody says clockwise, anti-clockwise. It's better to see it, visualize it, and which way you will have to rotate it like, like you know, that how you use the steering of the car. So nobody tells you that whether you will go 90 degree, 45 degree or something. You feel that which way you'll go it. I don't like to say this way, that 90 degree or clockwise, anti-clockwise, something like this, you know? And to even feel that one, then you have to flush the Y connector very properly. So that because it's a five French diagnostic catheter, there should not be no yet. Usually what I do, like is there, usually what I do, I usually just flush it a little bit so that the blood is coming out through the Y connector so that no air bubble is there. Then a little bit the blood in the syringe to the manifold so that you can see that the blood there is no bubble there this is very much important so again i'm engaging it so you see that this is a very very small radial artery i can tell so when you see the very small diameter radial artery then your catheter may not hear your command. It will jump all on a sudden from here to there when you're trying to rotate it. Check. So now I'm going for an angiographic view. You see this is the left system from the left coronary sinus is there. And you see the catheter is bouncing a little bit, not in the position properly. So make it in the position properly. Test. Okay. A bit not because it's just I'm seeing that whether this uh, my LED stenting, the previously stented one two days back, whether it is okay or not. Okay, it's, it's engaged now. So I see so far you can see the stand now here. Uh, Sadhubai, in the LED, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. That's the most important part of cannulation of our coronary ostia. Yep. Yeah, comments. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially it's elderly people and patient with too much tortuosity. The patient could be tortuosity yes, yes. So one should be very careful when torquing the catheter. Always look at the pressure curve. Because if you say the pressure curve is going down, there may be twisting in the catheter. So once you in 
in the in the in, in the uh, coronary artery and inject you find that the dye is not coming then you become nervous so always when talking keep an eye on the uh, pressure car whether it is coming to uh, okay. zero or something else so at that moment you have to anti clock clockwise rotate and discard the catheter and take a new catheter ट <laughs> রেজা স্যার শুনতে পাচ্ছেন আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি আপনি আনমিট করেন এই যে কেনুরেশন করবে স্যার জুনিয়ররা কিন্তু রেডিয়াল আর্টারিতে লেফট সাইডে কেনুরেশন সহজ না যেটা সাইদুল ভাই এক্সপার্ট বলে পারলেন সেক্ষেত্রে জুনিয়ররা কিন্তু কেনুরেশনের সমস্যা হয় করোনা রেস্টিয়াতে আপনি কিভাবে কি ট্রিক্স আছে রেজা স্যার প্লিজ আনমিউট ডক্টর অশোক দত্ত প্লিজ আনমিউট হ্যাঁ স্যার স্যার ডক্টর মহসিন জি জি কেনুরেশন আপনার করোনারি অস্টিয়াম জি so for the tiger cannulation of the coronary ostium someone do the right coronary cannulation first then the left coronary artery someone do the yes. left one first then the right coronary artery uh, we yeah. usually in our cath lab we used to do the right coronary artery and uh, always that should be very much gentle rotation especially rotation and a bit pull back everything <laughs> very much gentle for the right it is easier to can now sir hello for the step, you should be very much cautious otherwise catheter may jump like this previous on hot uh, especially in small outer short stature female or short stature male small outer left cannulation is sometimes very yeah. difficult and there is yeah. chance of ostial resection of the left main coronary artery dr mohsin so, जी सदीर भाई या डॉक्टर अशोक आई मीन द वर्ज ऑफ द वर्ज ऑफ द एंजियोग्राम बिकॉज़ आई हैव टू फिनिश दैट वन अदरवाइज आई कैन पुट द कैथेटर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम देयर सो आई एम टेलिंग फॉर दिस केस स्पेशली इफ द फेलोस कैन सी दैट वन इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल एंड ऑलमोस्ट सेपरेट ऑस्टियम ऑफ द लेफ्ट मेन द लेफ्ट मेन इज वेरी शॉर्ट एंड एलईडी एंड एल6 इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑफ सेपरेट ओरिजिन कैन यू कैन यू शो द प्रीवियस व्यूज हियर because this is the thing you know that here is the problem this is like you see that very short left main can you see that one almost separate origin there is no left main here, separate origin ji yeah almost separate this is the thing you know that here the angiogram to do an angiogram is also a very very uh, tricky one to to because you have to can you let both the led and the lcx by rotating the catheter in a very minute fashion and which i have done you see that first one is i can see the both one both both led and lcx but both are not lcx is a bit clear but led is not clear but the later the next one the next picture you see now i have selectively a bit selectively engaged the led and and at that time you see the lcx is not that much visible <coughs> right so the next picture then i have put the catheter a bit down and pushing it a little bit rotate a little bit so that i can see the lcx properly and very clearly by selectively engaging ha sadhir bhai apni joto shohoje engage korlen eta eta to easy na ei ei gesture kintu engage kora if for the fellows yeah that's the same thing that's the same thing yeah yes yes that's why i'm telling this thing this is the speciality of this case yes. with this sort of and and already this five french catheter is very much spasmodic the patient uh, it, it, radial artery is not permitting this even five french get five french catheter it's very tight so here so i have i have finished with the left system i will go for the right one and you know the catheter is not catheter is not which moving prefer to engage first right on or left on which one do you try you know, to engage you, you know you know the you, you have to go to the boss first then you will have to go to the the assistant boss later okay so it's better to go for the left system that is the boss of the coronaries right 
<laughs> may, may I add a few points? So I love there. <laughs> Plus. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, uh, what we look for before engaging the lift system, so two things we should keep in mind. Number one, the orientations of the vessels, that is hostile location and hostile orientation. So they do two things very important. One is hostile location, another is hostile orientation. So if you, uh, most of the cases, uh, if, if it is in the uh, horizontal plane and it is uh, in the lateral wall, that is it's a common presentations. But if it is in the upper location, it is the lower location, downwards location, it is in the upper direction, it is downwards directed. And in that cases, you need some additional <laughs> modifications of this. But for uh, most of the cases, what is the basic difference between the engagement of the lift system in radial and femoral? One important issue is that when you engage the lift system, your catheter tip should be looks like to, towards your eyes. That is not in the lateral side. In case of lift system, we just rotate the catheter and tip looks oh, nice to the lateral wall of this heart. That is towards, towards the left side of the heart. But in case of radial, it looks like towards your nose oh, no, or no. towards your eyes. That is the anterior location. This is a very important tip for engagements of the catheter by radial roots, one important issue. Second is, if you ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it, it will help most of the cases to engage your catheter. Mm -hmm. And third one is what Dr. Saidur Rahman is, is uh, show here, if it is a separate origin, if you clockwise rotate the catheter, it will engage the LED. If it is anti-clockwise rotator, it is deep seated and it is downwards movements, looks uh, and it helps you to engage the L6. But when, uh, first of all, uh, when Where I feel that, uh, that it is difficult to engage the catheter, what I practice in my cath lab, I did the angiogram from the right side first, then I took another catheter. This is EBO. It's a very favorite, uh, my favorite yeah, catheter yeah. for me. Most yeah, of doctor, the cases, almost 99% cases, you can yeah. overcome this problem. Yeah, Dr. Thank Asad, you. Thank you. Well, well, told, yes, well told, just yeah, because you see here that for this case, I have told that the, the catheter, even five French catheter, the radial artery is not accommodating properly. I have faced this problem also while doing the first one. And then what I have done when I have finished the left side, and I'm going for the right side, right? The catheter is not moving at all, okay? The catheter is not, I'm pushing that one. You know, it's a, he is a very, very old person and, uh, and he has got some tortuosity also in the radial and brachial part also. And that's why the catheter was not moving. So what I have taken, you can see in the angiographic view, there is a O35 wire, right? Can you see you can that see one? You, but we cannot see, see the angiographic views. No, no, I didn't do that. You okay, didn't. thank you. So I'm, I'm telling you the, that how you will cannulate now because I couldn't even, because the catheter was up. Catheter has gone up, right? So you have to push the catheter. When I'm pushing the catheter, catheter is going down. So what you will do there, you will take the J-tipped O35 wire, right? To assist the catheter to go down, right? So by this way, I've done. And the thing is that, some very minor tricks is here that how much you will push this O35 wire, whether you will go up to the carb, primary carb, or you will go, we'll take it here. Okay, so this is, you know, that there is some physics here. If you see that your tortuosity is up somewhere here, then it's better to keep the O35 wire there to because that tortuosity is keeping your catheter up. It's not going to the desired place. If you see that the problem is down, then you have to put the O3 fiber. But never and ever the don't don't just make the primary carb of the catheter diagnostic or guide catheter, whatever it is, changed by this O3 fiber. It's better. I think I can just make it understand to the fellows. Okay, so I have kept it here and then I'm going for the right cannulation to the right corner sense because most of the time your catheter, especially the T or the dexterity, whatever it is, it will be stuck in the non-coronary cast. Okay. Oh, it is inside. Yeah, it is now inside, we're very, very, you know, it is. it was very difficult. Now I am pulling out the O35 wire waiting a little bit so that the blood is coming out in the Y connector because you know O35 is a robust thing. So when you are pulling it out, always remember these things because bubbles will be very much there inside until unless you are clearing that one because the negative pressure is in the catheter, 
there when you are pulling it out because you're pulling out not slowly, you're pulling out very fast. So negative pressure will be there and lots of bubbles will be inside. So that is to be cleared. This is very important for this sort of five French catheter activities. Okay. So now I'm going for the right side. Test a little bit. Test. Yeah, it's there. Now I'm doing the right sided angiogram. Taken for this, you can see that the angiographic view, it is the, the first one, the typical one. And then I'm going for the iliocranial to see the distal RCA, how much it is. The PDA has been is, is diseased, diffusely diseased. And come to the iliocaudal, if you see that the disease process is in the proximal or part of the mid part of the RCA, it's better to take a locodal view to better visualize the lesion extension and the lesion characteristics. So that's all about the diagnostic one. Now you can comment you because I want to finish this thing because that catheter is creating pain for this patient. I have to relieve the pain of this patient. Okay. Yes. So I'm exchanging the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, now, now I'm showing the angiographic views. All the views. Yes. Yeah. Then our our panelists from the very on. beginning. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just first, so I, want to, I want to I want to de-exchange the catheter with yeah, a yeah, 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 three one way. Sure. Sometimes for the beginners, puncture may be difficult on the left side, but engage may be easier from the left side. Huh. when you engage the catheter with the help of O35 or O25 metallic wire, two important issues here. One important issue is, uh, Dr. Saeed Rahman already mentioned, the back bleed of blood. Now, number two is, when you pull the wire, you need to push the catheter by your left hand. Otherwise, after engagement, again, re-engagement of the catheter is very important issue. And second point, sir, yes, uh, you already mentioned. And second point, sir, you have mentioned that when you go through the left side, it's a very important issue is because when we engage the coronary circulations by the left radial or left ulnar artery, it's usually, it seems to be the femoral root. So it is very easier, definitely very easier. Thank you, sir. Uh, you tell, if I wired the uh, support, the uh, engagement, so on a to how to excitement, the engagement, Short narrator tendency, but be careful. There will be a lot of air which has sucked in. Exactly. So sure. be sure that is it is air free. Uh, Our panelists have to enter view the kitchen. I can comment. I mean, Professor Absolute Roman on Sachin. Professor Absolute, sir, can you hear me? Again, again, you can see, you can show the Professor uh, Absolute again. Yes, please. Thank you. Sir, uh, enter view. Declan, sir, you have an opinion, sir, view to the kitchen. Upper no, it's fine. Regarding. Thank you. Yes. Everything is fine, but uh, now he is engaging possibly the right guide catheter, and this is very simple lesion. So everything is uh, everything has been properly demonstrated. I think so. How can you manipulate? How can I can Doctor, it? Doctor Abzal, it yes. took when it just made my life a hell while doing the LED. That I understand. I have done. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was like a hell because it was so fibrotic, so calcific. But they say oh, okay. it's a it's a STMI two days back. Mm -hmm. No, that, that you I can understand. expect that it should be soft. It should be thrombo. It should be just thrombotic. It was mm -hmm. not like this. So mm -hmm. okay. I'm not expecting that the, the RCA will. Be, uh, I'm. I, I hope that uh, it will not behave bad with me. But I don't know uh, what is waiting for this 75 years smell with this sort of RCA lesion because sometimes you know that you don't know that what is there. Yes, so I understand. I'm, but yeah. But I think so first you have to properly engage yep. the yep. RCA that catheter. Yeah. The, yeah. the diagnostic catheter is not fit in the osteum actually. It is yeah. not really exactly the exactly the osteum. So 
RC has to be fixed up like that. And there is a, some anisomal dilatation that I have shown. It is anisomal, or what is that? It's, small uh, it's like the pre stenotic or post stenotic dilatation. Yes, post stenotic dilatation, like that. So I think so you have to prepare the bed first nicely. You have to post pre dilate and um, listen properly. Yeah. Any comments from others? Dr. Kaiser, Dr. Kaiser, why? do you hear me? Can you hear me? Dr. Kaiser, Mr. Khan. definitely about heparin, I would say, and, and also thanks to uh, Ibrahim Kadi Center for arranging this right. conference. About heparin, I would say, in radial route, we want to keep the ACT around 300. So usually uh, I give like seven to 8,000 and, and see the uh, uh, ACT uh, after five minutes. And I always check, uh, tell my scrap nurse to check the heparin uh, ACT every uh, half an hour to one hour, and if it is below three, uh, 300, then give 2,000 heparin more. And I leave it up to her, because when you're involved with so many things, you can't remember so many things. So uh, I would say that keep the ACT 300 around, and usually heparin is seven to 8,000 bolus. Thanks. Yeah. So yes. I have engaged with a, uh, with a JR guide catheter. I didn't take anything special for this case. You know that for older patients, it's rather better that which the uh, not take the specialty catheter until and unless it is behaving bad with you. So, you know, that I have taken and the workers where our workers where is shown blue. So anything you can choose from your shelf according to your choice. For this case, no specialty wire is necessary so far. Go for the yellow cranial. So the wire has been crossed easily. It's a JR guide catheter I have taken. And you have to wear it as much as you can because that wire is will give you an extra support for the catheter. Yeah, okay, the two balloon, 215, 215. And now I will pre-dilate the lesion with a not like, like 0.5 is to one. That means we, I will take a two NC balloon. I usually like even for pre-dilatation, the NC balloons, especially for the patients who are older and you know that a bit calcification is pretty obvious there. Even if it is not angiographically seen, there are some hidden calcifications will be there. So an NC balloon, you know, has got some benefit over the semi-compliant or the non-compliant uh, so, or the, the compliant one. So I'm taking a 215 NC. Flush. Are you hearing? Everybody's hearing? <coughs> yes, 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 yes. You can hear it's, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like a midnight dead still, everybody. Yeah, pre dilated. Usually, usually I like to pre dilate the distal lesion first and then the proximal one. It will take a long lesion. So, I'm predilating it from here. Hmm. 14, 16, quick. Okay. I'm going for 16 because diameter is in and around 2.75 to 3. So it's a two balloon. So vary with, with all sort of freedom. You can predilate it as much as you can. Okay, up it. Uh, Dr. Saidu. Yep. Uh, we are always uh, afraid of the nodular calcium. Yeah, when that you are one, dilating am, a balloon, yep. uh, uh -huh. how can you be sure that there is something wrong in there, something, some calcium in there that will be hampering your entry of a long stem? What the, are the uh, tips the, you can give the to the The first user? thing is that if you have angiographically, if you see that some bits of calcifications you are seeing somewhere, ectopic,
calcification because these are very important diffuse calcifications you can predict very well that yeah there are some consumers you have a very hard day waiting for you so that's not a big deal but the when you have seen some ectopic focuses of calcifications are there and these nasty calcifications may be nodular sometimes and that one when you will put a balloon and while crossing the balloon through that lesion you can also that <laughs> lesion will tell you will tell you that I am not a simple one. Please behave very properly with me. So that one is first thing. The second thing is that, that the balloon, when we are predilating it, it go in different angle also, not in the same angle to also while the balloon is inflated, you will go in a different angle also to see the way that there is any negative shadows there within the balloon. So that one you can easily can understand angiographically that there are some nodular calcification and where the balloon is actually is not inflating properly. For uh, this case, uh, it didn't happen so far. That's, that's what I was saying. This is a very important thing. Inflated balloon, take a different angle, 90 degree angle. You can see any indentation in the balloon you can be sure at that point there is some nodular calcium. And that's the tip you have a very important tip. Uh, Professor, uh, uh, Professor Fadila Malik, madam, can you hear me? Sounds more, sir. Yes. Sir, Sajiraman Bhai Jeevai, Belum Fulan 16, 18, Kore. আমাদের ফেলোরসরা এখানে যে ফিল্ম ফুলাবে তারা কিভাবে করবে একটু ফেলোসদের জন্য যে তারা আগে ফিল করবে যে আমি 10 12 ফুলাবো নমিনাল তারপর ফিল করে আগাবে ফর দা ফেলোস আর ওটা কনফিডেন্ট ফেলোসে বিগিনিং এ শুরু করলে আমার মনে একটা লো প্রেসার দিয়ে শুরু করে ভালো 6 8 দিয়ে দেখ গেল একটা প্রত্যেক বেলুনে নমিনাল প্রেসার থাকে 6 8 দেওয়ার পরে যে একটা যেগুলো মোটি মোটামুটি বেলুন ফ্ল্যাট হচ্ছে না বেলুন ইনফ্লেশন হয়ে যাচ্ছে তাহলে বাস প্রেসার যারা যেটা যার বাস প্রেসার যেটা যেটা থাকে যেটা ওটা তখন দিবে Usually, to a uh, balloon, software is called undersized balloon. Is called a one feeder is called a balloon. Undersized is called actually high pressure. The look of the other cook, Bishi high pressure usually not a hollow dissection of the chance to do their to experience gather for the hyper better. Thank you. Uh, Sadur Bhai, you know, uh, I yeah, you know that I this vessel is uh, what I have told previously that this vessel is almost three millimeter. So, so two balloon, you know, it's a it's yeah. a mini balloon, mini balloon, yes, it's yes, a baby balloon. Yeah. Absolutely. So absolutely. whatever the expansion you 16 to 18, because NC balloon has got that superiority because it has a profile. It will never how much pressure you will give. The balloon will not be not be that much big because it's NC. It's not a compliant one. The compliant mm -hmm. one will expand and expand, will have a chance of dissection or some sort of problems will be there. NC, it has a rated burst pressure. And with that pressure, its profile two millimeter is got a 2.2 or 2.3. So it will be never more than that. And your vessel is, you know, that three millimeter. So it's okay. Show me the IVAS also. Now I have, I'm doing the IVAS. Yeah. So let's see what is in the IVAS. Can you project the IVAS picture? Because for these sort of cases, you know, you know, we know that there is very much, this is very, very, uh, there is huge scarcity of IVAS, not only in our country, almost in each and every country in the world. So, but we have that privilege that, and especially for this case, I usually use this thing. I like to use this thing. Though you know that, that there are some lots of points against here that you don't need it. Like, yeah, angiographic versus IVAS assessment. The, the latest one is uh, the latest register is telling, yeah, it's almost same. And you see the pressure is dumping. If you see the hemodynamics here. So I have predilated it and how it looks that I felt. You see, even after predilatation, it's not enough, but at least the IVAS catheter has been crossed. This is one of the thing. What I was talking with Vadudvai uh, before, that like a Colombo in a, in a life case was telling that if IVAS catheter is not crossing, then you, you think that you need a rotablation. But for this patient, the catheter has been crossed well, means that the calcification is not that much. If you see the IVAS now, if I, if, if, if this IVAS picture is visible to you, 
Yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes sure. <coughs> I guess not so much calcium. So it's yeah. uh, almost uh, uh, three millimeter diameter, the distal reference diameter. I usually like to see the distal reference diameter more. Please, when those who have the IVUS facility, or for the fellows who we usually see that always for this sort of cases, I needed to see the distal reference diameter. Please, for God's sake, because for MB main <laughs> branch optimization, the distal reference diameter is very much important. Seeing the proximal one, if you predict the diameter of the, st of the stand size, it's not at all. You will have to see the distal one and also, also see the distal landing zone which is relatively disease free. You can't expect in 75 years old patient that you will get a, a land, very good landing zone, but at least a pretty comfortable landing zone you need to put the stand there. So for this case, a bit of admixture of this is not like the LAB, not that much calcification is there, but there are some 90 degree calcifications in 12, one, two, three o'clock positions in somewhere you see some ectopic calcifications at there in an around 60 degree arc in almost in the, in the whole segment. So what should be the diameter and what should be the length of the stand for this case? So diameter has to be three, 3.2 is for appropriately. Yep. And length, well, let's see length. How much you want so if you you know that for this case the you know that the wearing is not that much difficult so there is another way very simple way rather than ivus to check it in that way right so here it looks like 30 because the radio opaque part of the wear hmm. so you can take a 38 30, or 33 34, uh -huh. hmm. 33 38 34 whatever so that is okay it's better to take one to 12, two millimeter more length, longer stand, rather than a, a you know, that don't be that much miser here. So, so what is the consensus about the stand size? So, look, I think please go 333. to the uh, angiogram angio view once again. Yeah, angiogram, show the angiogram view. What the point that? You have enough space, so you can get, take a little bit yeah. longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you it's can it's always it's measure by taking it's out it's the, it's the, pulling back the it's wire it's and seeing yes. the size. Uh, if you prefer healthy to healthy, that's better. Take a longer string, no harm. There's no side branch. Yeah. Just goes up. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, I think 38 only, will be safer. 38 will be safer. 38 will be yeah. safer well, because yeah. you know, yeah. very good. Uh, 338. You have a very long Endeavor. landing zone. Yeah. Better to take a 3 4 millimeter longer string. Hmm. I think 338 will be enough. This is always I, I this is always I like, you know, that is always oh. like you know, since my childhood, when I used to buy the uh, by the by the clothes for shirt, making so shirt because at that time bigger I price, really take a little bit more for longer duration. Uh, Dr. Khalid Mosin, sir, can you hear me? How was Khalid Mosin? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, আমাদের তো ম্যাক্সিমাম সেন্টার আইবাস নেই অনেক জায়গা নেই বা ইয়াংরা আইবাস ইউজ করবে না আমরা এনজিকাল ভিউ দেখলে প্রথম ভিউ দেখলাম যেটা সেখান থেকে কি মনে হয় যে আপনার এই پیشنটে আইবাস ছিল বা কত লোক আপনার আপনার কাছে মাই উইদার আইবাস ক্যান পসিবল আইবাস কি দরকার ছিল কিনা খালেদ মোসিন হাউ এ ফেলোস অর অপারেটর ডিটারমাইন আইবাস ইজ नीडेड ইন দ্যাট কেসেস খালেদ মোসিন স্যার অ্যাকচুয়ালি আইবাস ইজ এ ভেরি গুড টুল অ্যাকচুয়ালি বিকজ মেনি অফ দা থিংস ইউ সি ইন দা uh, by fluoroscopy or cine angiography, the IVAS changes the picture uh, radically, uh, particularly regarding the calcification. Uh, as uh, we know that, uh, the, as uh, Mishu has said that he faced a lot of calcification in the left uh, doing the LED. So calcification in one place means calcification everywhere. This is the rule of thumb. Even you don't see a calcification by fluoroscopy or cine angiography, you take it for granted that the other lesion is calcified as well. So you have to be prepared for that. And the lesion preparation is very important as uh, <coughs> Professor Saidur has said, and he has very rightly used the NC balloon. And we have to very uh, much uh, uh, one is to one predilatation 
uh, by the NC balloon and the balloon indentation. We have to keep in mind that uh, the, there is no indentation. Okay. Yes. And after the post stent optimization, uh, in many of our cath labs, we have the okay. stent boost. So this is a poor man's IVAS. So I think uh, in uh, many of the cath labs, whenever okay. we, we don't, uh, we should be using the stent boost as much as possible, where there is no IVAS. And, uh, uh, and the Philips machine, the uh, stent boost is a very quick and very good, almost very much informative. But uh, I think the and GE and guest, the Siemens guest. Uh, or the Shimarzu, I don't think the stand boost is not that fast and that informative. So I, I would advise our fellows yeah. to use the stand boost uh, as much as possible, yeah. Yeah. Uh, particularly after the post stent yeah. uh, for the post stent optimization. But but the, regarding the stent, I they have to judge on the configuration of the pre dilatation balloon uh, uh, mostly. Sure. Sizing ki bhai korbe je ibas nahi. Amra je sizing kollo. Ekta dekhalo white ta dekhalo. White ta apni ki bhai follow karen. Uni jitta white diye map dilo. Yeah. Thalit bhai. What I am asking. Do you use nitrate before putting a stent? Of course. I think that should be routinely used. Yeah, yeah. Nitrate. That will actually help you giving the idea about that. Yeah. You should regarding the length of the lesion. I think the distal, the radio pack part of the wear gives us a very a uh, good idea. Uh, whenever we are crossing the lesion, we take a, a fluoro saving or a cine. And uh, and uh, regarding the diameter of the stent, I think the uh, post nitro uh, uh, diameter is important. But uh, whenever I, I think uh, for the sake of safety, I think it is for the in the beginning it is better to undersize the stent a little bit because you can blow up by post dilatation, but in, in an oversized stand, you cannot uh, bring the size down. So I, it will be my advice to our uh, fellows that you slightly undersize the stand in the beginning. And uh, if necessary, by stand boost, you can post dilate the stand. And regarding the length, you try to take a, because the drug eluting stands are less prone to restenosis, you take a it longer stand so that you don't end up in a geographical miss. So it, it is uh, to, uh, better to take a bigger stent uh, in length and a smaller stent in diameter in the early part of your case. Uh, uh, most in the incomplete uh, unit. Length of diameter. Regarding diameter, I'm going to simple. I compare with the catheter Jee. diameter. Now also, balloon to dilate, how much pressure is dilated for a balloon to diameter? How much pressure is dilated for a balloon to diameter? How much pressure is dilated for a balloon to diameter? After nitro, Tile Buzaja, which is the two millimeter balloon nominal Kulano Hetake, the lay it at two millimeter, Tile it a thin hobby. Ibabe mostly Amra. Thank you, sir. Exactly. Catheter size and balloon size important. Balloon size and always mind it distal reference vessel diameter. Always mind it. Sir, Sadir Bai? Yeah. Uh, so I can't put uh, post, keeping the word there, there, I can put a long time. Before post uh, Sadir Bai? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before post yeah, I will here. show the Last picture time. that I want to finish this thing because yeah. I don't want to keep these things like this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You can go uh, we, we are dis discussing. Because patient safety is first. Yes. Uh, uh, 20. Uh, Professor Abdul Roman, can you hear me? Professor Abdul Roman? I am audible. Uh, sir. I, I, I am audible. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. 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 Own such a balloon nibe, cotu nibe kiva shay, sizing, sizing. Without IVAS, without IVAS. Uh, the the important IVAS. thing is this distal reference diameter after yes. the nitroglycerin. That's important. So it should be, it should not be more than the diameter one is to one, rather than it should be 0.75, so that you have a room to over the distance. And regarding this case, as the balloon is expanding very nicely with an 18, and there is no indentation. And in this case, I don't believe that. Uh, I, I was is necessary for this case, but as it is a practical demonstration, so Saidir has nicely demonstrated that there is no such kind of the calcium. So in this case, I don't think so I was is necessary for this, but for uh, demonstration of this case is for learning. I think so I was is essential. Number two, the stand size should be a little bit longer than the lesion. Exactly. It should be landing from the healthy proximal segment to the healthy distal segment because 
as we are not seeing by the eye bus. In this case, we have seen the eye bus, so we can easily find a link. But when there is no eye bus, so we have to little uh, we have to take the little longer stand. And post dilatation, you can dilate it, no problem, by NC balloon. And the pre dilatation in this case with NC balloon that is the right choice. And I prepared to pre dilate the lesion by NC balloon in the case of the fibrotic lesions. And post dilatation, definitely we have to take the NC balloon that is better. And and definitely, I am agree with Khalid Moshin that yeah, for yeah. stent bush, if you only see the stent bush nicely, it is a Phillips machine that you that you give exactly the flavor for the stent bush. Other machine take longer time, and that is not a stent bush. That is called a stent visualization, like there's something. If you, if you want to take the bush, that is Phillips machine. But don't be deserted if you have a cement, cement or cement machine. No. That is not all. What we are telling that you want to take the real stand bush, that is that. And stand bush also give the, that how much the stand is uh, inflated, how the intention you can exactly. And in this case, I, I don't believe that um, though it is long lesion, that if you postal it properly, you need to uh, evaluate the uh, stand by IBUS. But definitely, if an IBUS, you can do that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Officer Apri Nashpri Polsing. Samson, sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Sir. আমাদের এক্সচেঞ্জ যখন ডাইলেট করবে স্যার নিউ জেনারেশন যখন থার্ড জেনারেশন এক্সচেঞ্জ আছে আমাদের মেট্রোনিকের অনিক্স বা এই ধরনের এক্সচেঞ্জগুলো সেক্ষেত্রে আমরা কতটুকু ডাইলেট করতে পারবো কোন সাইজে ভেসেল কতটুকু ডাইলেট করা সম্ভব আমরা ভেসেল নিলাম ওখানে টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ স্ট্যান্ড নিলাম আমাদের ভেসেল সাইজ ইজ থ্রি পয়েন্ট ফাইভ ইউ ক্যান ডাইলেট দ্য স্ট্যান্ড আপ টু থ্রি পয়েন্ট ফাইভ প্লিজ ক্লিয়ার দিস থিং ফর দ্য ফেলোস হাউ মাচ ফর ফেলোস দে মাস্ট হ্যাভ এ লুক অ্যাট দ্য বক্স এভরি বক্স হ্যাজ গেট কে as a balloon inflation and uh, how much you can go metronic can go a lot but this synergy cannot go that much you have to individually still see, check every stent the, the the full the box there every box has got a balloon chart on the top the how much you can give how much can go up how much you can go no in general if you don't have the uh, ivers you go as much as possible as much possible to match the size you just see how it is uh, looking and if you have a stand boost it can give you the actually the impression whether the stand is open up nicely or not so really speaking the uh, uh, how much you go up it will depend on the company the stand that you are using you have to check individually of the stand regarding the use of stand boost i just make a comment small comment stand boost is a very useful procedure but keeping in mind the stand boost has got a lot of radiation so you can't keep on using the stand boost time after time so in one patient try to keep stand boost with between one to two shots not more than that one stand would equal to more as roughly three or four okay. synergies so huge radiation so that keep in mind so we we can dilate the third generation stand as much as, as possible i think as much as possible as much yes, as possible but you must you must check the reference diameter from the box thank you sir thank you sir i think dr sadir roman case is finished yep. nicely yep. Yes, nicely uh, dilated thank I you to show. thank I you we clap clapping for you sadir roman nice yeah. case yeah okay. you can discuss now yeah now you you show it uh, i can i can show it that i have taken the 338 millimeter stand you see yes i'm showing that one so 338 and positioning it according to the landing zone and and just i i just want to say that here that uh, this is a five french guard catheter okay so keep it in your mind also because it's a three stand so because we have to push the uh, because and uh, the contrast very hard here and then after stenting you can see that there are some back there are you see there there are some indentation there are some malpositions yeah. and stent was not we we have put the stand up to 14 atmosphere with the 338 stands and uh, it's a second generation stand and uh, after that you have seen the that malpositions are there the stand is not well expanded in the parts where the lesion was really really very much critical you see and and also calcification was there so uh, you know that the the concept of post dilatation which has come uh, back in 2006 by colombo first that it should be and at that time the first generation stands were there also but now it is second and third generation what dr samsmanor is telling that it doesn't matter because sometimes you have to take the opn balloon also 
like 40 and 40 atmosphere because these stands what you will have to need that in a third generation stands has got very good expansive expense expansibility and expansing capability also that is very much important so you can go up to 24 26 atmosphere not just looking at the box all the time if it is a third generation because stand distortion or the strut distortion is less in third generation especially you better make a box which is now in the ebc consensus book you can see a box of the different types of stands that a, a 3.5 stand can you can expand it up to up to 5.5 or something like this so different companies has got this second or third generation stand has got some expansing capabilities according to that you can pre-post dilate the stand because sometimes not all the time you can put a desired size and actual fa the factual side of size of stand you can put in the coronaries but you have to where there should not be no <coughs> margin of error that your stand should be very very much optimized in the arterial wall without any malposition or under expansion and here the role of the ivus is very very much sweet i can tell not mandatory but it is sweet to see so i can i think you have seen the post dilatation after po after post dilatation the IVA made an ivus also and that ivus picture i think you have shown already yes sure so but that I... one has shown that almost uh, the the all the stand struts after post dilatation has been opposed well with the arterial wall without any that is also very much important i usually see not only i want to see the stand itself the way that is opposed or not at the same time by ivas it is the best way by the ivas you can see whether be after that the age of the stands the proximal age and the distal age of the stand because that part <coughs> whether it has got some minute dissection or not so better to take the ivas catheter a bit beyond the stented segment start from there and also finish it beyond the proximal stented segment so that you can feel that there is no edge dissection you have kept there, which will be ultimately led into, will lead into a, later on with the restenosis or something more. Thank These you. are the beauties of the IVAS sometimes. Uh, please, you should the last, Dr. Last Dr. Short, Dr. Saidu, last short after yeah. wiring, after wiring, last one. Professor Abzal Roman. Professor Abzal Roman. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Reza. Dr. Reza was asking Dr. something. Reza, oh, Reza. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, you, uh, the extended segment, I think it is uh, a bit bigger size than the proximal and the distal uh, 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 normal portion. Uh, that's why I guess that the proximal to the extent, there is also a stenosis there in the coronaries. Yeah, yeah, uh, RCA. Uh, yes, RCA uh, has got some stenosis. I'm looking at a miss column. Can. No, no, are you, are you missing it? One. No, no, we didn't miss that one because then I have to put, a, put another stand because even 48 millimeter cannot just. Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're giving another stand there? No, 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 I'm not going to because uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, that it, it, is it tapering because of, you know, after stenting, it will always look like there are some disease in I was also, I have seen there are some disease, but it is minimal. It's not 30 to 40 of 2%. It's not more than that. So I don't want to go for a too much metal jacket in this artery. I don't want to because uh, Dimitri flow is there. But osteo, osteo, but osteum is not seems to be a good looking. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but not yes. that much because you see the, the contrast shot. is regurgitating there well. Last shot, last shot. Yeah, the last shot, the next one. Last, last shot after last yeah, you shot. You see, you see here. Yes. Yes. This is, I think nice, nice. Good, yeah, not I don't okay, want to fine. put. I don't want to put in out of steel. fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, I don't want to put a out of steel stand. Okay, it's very much necessary. Motion, motion, sir. I, I am totally agree with the Saidu Rahman. Yes. We don't like to put one more stent because it is a little bit over dilatation. That is yeah. like point, some over dilatation of the stent is not bad, good, unless it is dissected most of the time. Most of the time we want to make it more expansion than the actual coronary is. It is not like that. It is more than 10% like that. It's acceptable. So whatever lesion in the distally and proximally, Nothing is significant, so we, we should not do any more stand metal jacket proximal or distal. This yep. excellent result. We can wait for the result, and we can 
see what is the going output. I am definitely um, confident that it will be good because if you are diffusely diseased from the coronary artery, you should not put the stent from the proximal part to the distal to the LED. You have to find out the landing zone of the disease segment also sometimes. That is recommended. I think so. I'm totally agree with the Saidu that what he has done is fine. Thank Otherwise, you, Saidu, thank but, you, Saidu Raman. But, and his team, uh, I, think uh, I agree with Saidu as well. I think that these are over, but, over a state aside, state only. Which is good. I mean, there's no, no, there's no wrong with the uh, proximal disease. There's some disease. You know, proximal you, you know, you know Tamjit Bhai? Main you know, is Tamjit, covered, yes, yes. Tamjit Bhai? Yeah. Tamjit Bhai, you know, yes, after yes. three months, if you do the angiogram, you will see yeah, that it should the, be fine. the distal RC yeah. will be bigger. The yes, distal yes. RC <laughs> will be like the same size. Yeah. And you will see that it will not be like this. You know, because yeah. it has been battered so, a little bit, it is angry. This vessel is angry now. Yes. So it is that's right. responding back. Thank you, so eventually it will thank you, Sadi, in, improve further. Uh, thank you, yeah. all the panelists and, and the faculties here. Uh, we have uh, two hours, more than two hours time. Professor Mid sir. Professor... Why is that 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 eminent radio uh, radial is there? Why is Dr. Mid Uh Thank you. Um, uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, Sadhir Bhai, I last yep. comment for the fellows for you for last comment. Uh, for the there fellows. is no last comment because uh, because you know that intervention is an endless thing and an endless game sure, and sure, uh, years sure. after years, days after days, it will it will change its practice also everything. But what you say, what you feel, your in your I I want to go. I want to be a little bit philosophical here, because you have to be very much uh, not only passionate. But at the same time, you have to be very much a scientist-like approach for PCI. PCI is an art. It's a real art, and you need some physics here. So whatever the access you will take, it doesn't matter. But whatever the access you will use, that one you have to do very meticulously, understanding the anatomy of and, and all, all, all sorts of angles. That what are the instruments you have? You have to know that how to use it. You, you can't just reading the books, you can't do that one. You have to feel you should have a very good tactile response. And that one will help you with the best. And also you have a very eagle sight. These two things, I think the very good tactile response and the eagle sight. This too Thank is you. the best thing for it to be a very good operator. Thank you, Dr. Aisha. Also, you resistant, also nurse and technicians in the cath labs. We are thank you. Thank you so very much. much. Thank you thank very you. much you for very much. giving us uh, the now opportunity. I'm requesting Professor Maximilo, sir. Please give the vote of thanks for the uh, audience. Professor Maximilo, sir. Uh, sir, I think uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for uh, participating in this uh, live uh, telecast from Ibrahim Kari Hospital and Research Institute. Um, I'm grateful to our colleagues uh, for sure arranging this um, sure. live telecast and also uh, Dr. Mohsin and others who helped and also Bexinko Pharmaceuticals uh, and Medtronic who, who contributed in arranging this wonderful afternoon session. So we have a live telecast of Australia-Bangladesh match after 45 minutes. So everyone will be interested. So I will like to hand over the microphone to our senior uh, most Catlip Catlip among the Catlip Chief of Catlip uh, 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 yes, and finally so, thanks to the IPDI to have your chance to have to take part in this session. So Ibrahim Kadiak is grateful to the IPDI to invite us to take part in your mission. And uh, we Invite you again if you need us in future. Thank you very much. Our senior professor, uh, teachers of the teachers of the uh, professor GM Farooq sir, please. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Shabar pure Allah Mohar Rabbul Alamin Ya Shabar Pandit Rahmat Bhul Bashrut Ho. Please bolye ami aaram ba kuthi se. Ye dud dini avastha hai. To ami first appreciate kuro bo jay amar dujin priyo colleague ya kono amar dujin colleague. Usually what I do, I reflect the future with the, I reflect the progress of the future with the reflection of the past. I reflect the future with the reflection of the past. I reflect the future with the past. The huge confidence grow that we can do it anything. In fact, 
অনেক রোগী সর্বনাশ করে ফেলছে অনেকে করছিও এটা হইছে কি ট্রেনিং প্রোগ্রামটা ওদিকে ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইডে হিউজ এক্সপ্যানশন হয়ে গেছে ইন্টারভেনশন বাট এটা ক্যাশ করতে গিয়ে আমাদের প্লাস প্রাইভেট সেন্টার গুলো করে গেছে ট্রেন পিপুলগুলো এসে সারতে পারে নাই আর কি এতে হইছে কি অনেক লোকে একা একা করতে হইছে অনেক ছেলে বেলে বিভিন্ন জায়গায় এককভাবে কাজ করতে হইছে কাজ করতে গিয়া মানে অনেকটা কিছু বলতে পারবো যে নিজে বিপদে পড়ছে পেশেন্টকে বিপদে ফেলছে সেটা থেকে উত্তরণ হওয়ার জন্য যে সিস্টেমটা ওরা করেছে এখন সেটা হলো যে মেন্টারশিপটা অ্যাবসেন্ট হওয়ার কারণে ট্রেনিং প্রোগ্রাম ডিস্টার্ব হয়ে গেছে এখন হচ্ছে কি এই ধরনের প্রোগ্রামের মাধ্যমে বাংলায় বলতেছি সবাই বোঝার জন্য এতে হয়েছে কি তাহলে ইয়াং যারা ফেলোশিপ তারা পাশ করে গেছে তারা ফিল করবে যে না আমি পাশ করার সঙ্গে সঙ্গে আমি যে সব পারি এটা জানা অনেক ডিপ ফ্লো ভোস ফাইন থিংসগুলো আলাপ করা হচ্ছে এখানে পার্টিকুলারলি যে ইন্টারভেনশনের পাংচার জায়গাটা বিগিনিং যেটি চলতে আরম্ভ করে দিয়ে আরম্ভ করে দেয় তো এই পাংচারটা জায়গায় বহু ক্ষতি হয়ে যায় না না পারলে ঠিক মতো প্রচণ্ড ক্ষতি হয়ে যায় সেই জায়গাটা আমি আস্তে আস্তে সব ফিল আপ করে হয়ে যাবে ইনশাল্লাহ দিস ইজ ভেরি গুড প্রোগ্রাম ইস অ্যান এক্সিলেন্ট প্রোগ্রাম মানে হুইচ আই এপ্রিসিয়েট দিস উইল ট্রেন দি ফিউচার কার্ডিওলজিস্ট ভেরি নাইসলি তবে একটা পয়েন্ট বলে রাখি সেটা হলো দিস প্রোগ্রাম ইজ ফর দ্য ফেলো স্টুডেন্ট দি প্রোগ্রামটা আসলে আসলে ফেলোর জন্য না উই হ্যাভ গন টু দ্যাট লেভেল অফ স্ট্যান্ড ফেলোস মাস্ট নট ডু স্ট্যান্ড অ্যাট দ্য মোমেন্ট নাও নো ইউ ট্রাই টু লং দি পাংচার এগেন সাদির মনে একটা কথা বলছিল দ্য ফেমার রুট ইজ দ্য মাদার অফ অল দি রুটস ডেফিনেটলি ফেলো শুড নট ট্রাই টু ডু ইন্টারভেনশন কার্ডিওলজি থ্রু দি রেডিয়াল নাও নো পার্সোনাল ফিলিং আই হোপ আই ডোন্ট I've challenged anybody's uh, notion and idea, but as far as I'm concerned, as an earlier fellow, now teacher, whatever you say, I would say that you should, fellow should, fellow means trainee, he's a trainee, he's not an expert yet. You should go for the femoral, make yourself familiar with the big vessel, you learn the maneuvering of the catheter, learn the maneuvering of the wire which you are putting there, because many times you are going to injure the left main with the putting how to put the wire how at what point you should reach should it be in the up to the level of the coronary artery or should the ascending artery these are the points so important for you to start with so radial should be kept as a reserve for your future when you become expert and a femoral should be tried for the fellows and the stent try to do the angiogram in good number first become familiar with the vessels and coronary arteries Once you know how to learn, do the, the angiogram properly, then you'll be able to do the do the PC very nicely. And then the PC will be done successfully only then when you know the orientation, the orientation of the vessels. If you know the origin of the vessels, you can engage the catheter and you can do the thing rightly. So once more, thanks to everybody and my, many of my colleagues, I, I can, cannot see them. Though I do not enjoy the, this uh, online meeting and you find me rarely in the online meeting because I want to see the human being from face to face, which we're having it now to have a heart to heart relationship, you know. So when I saw him and saw both of them, I became a little bit of uh, nostalgic, you know. We have passed so many times, we have seen NACBD together in wonderful days. So at the moment, I appreciate my colleagues who are in the, in the online. And I congratulate all of them for their participation. Saeed Rahman has done a great job through his radial approach. And he has put the stand over there. We have some of the stand nicely put over there. And I like to conclude with these small remarks that be, when you become interventionalist, be spiritual. I'm not talking about religion. Be spiritual. Spiritual means be honest to yourself, be honest to your patient. so that you'll come out successfully out of the PCA. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, sir. Thank you, our participants, also Biximko and Metronic, and also our student from the Dhaka Medical College and ICBD, and it's not the students, they are the fellows and uh, everybody. And also uh, Asad and Masood Diya Chudri, right? Uh, Professor Wadud, sir, please, uh, Chairperson, uh, please conclude today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 কি হবে কি না হবে সেটার জন্য কিন্তু এর মধ্যেখানে 
চমৎকার কিছু সময় কাটিয়ে দিলাম আমরা কিছু শেখার জন্য আমরা কিন্তু আজকে এখানে থাকার উদ্দেশ্য লাইভ ডেমনস্ট্রেশন যেটা হয়েছে সেটা দেখানো যে আমাদের ইন্টারভেনশনের ফিউচার রেডিয়ালে যাচ্ছে কিন্তু জে এম ফার্কসার যেরকম বলছিলেন সাইদুর যেটা এমফেসাইজ করছিলেন লান দা মাদার অফ রুট অফ ইন্টারভেনশন দ্যামোরাল বা বি অ্যাডেপ্ট ইন ইউজিং রেডিয়াল ইউ ক্যান গিভ মাচ কমফোর্ট টু দ্য পেশেন্ট and once you become adept in it you can achieve almost anything we can go forward we will go forward let us go forward together thank you everybody